So I wanna put it together a quick video on some tips to increase your appointment setting show rates measurably higher than they are right now. If you are setting appointments for any kind of insurance, a sales activity, following this kind of training should make a big difference for you. My name is David Duford, owner of Duford Insurance Group, where I train and recruit agents nationally to sell final expense, Medicare and annuities, both face to face and over the phone. So let's talk about how to get more of your appointments to actually show up. Uh, we all, if you've had any experience selling insurance, have to set appointments. And we've all had people just uh, mysteriously disappear into the ethers. And uh, as we find that frustrating, we wanna know what can we do to overcome that from happening. So first of all, you can't eliminate all no-shows, okay? But you can take steps to increase the show rate so that you can increase your total completed appointments, which of course hopefully will mean more sales and more efficiency in how your business is run. So the number one thing that I would recommend to you when you book appointments is before you get off the phone, if you're doing something like, oh great, okay, great, yes, you said yes, okay, great, all is well, I'll see you tomorrow at two o'clock, have a great day, bye. Don't just look for the fast exit off the phone. Take an additional 30 seconds to 60 seconds confirming the appointment. So let me talk you through the psychology of this and what we're trying to accomplish with this. So the goal of, of going through a confirmation series scripting is to make sure our clients remembers the appointment. Again, if you're in the final expense Medicare annuity market, we're dealing with senior citizens. They're old, der, <laughs> the memory's not the best. So we wanna go through this knowing that this is the case and then give them an opportunity to better render in their minds that we're coming for them. So how do we do that? So after we get confirmation on the appointment booking, I'll say, well, great. So before I let you go, let me, let me ask you a few things just to make sure I'm coming to the right uh, uh, house. So first of all, your address is 123 Oak Street. Is that right? Yes. Um, you are, you're 75 years young and, and your husband, Bill, is going to be there tomorrow too, correct? Yes. Okay, so you're off of Oak Street and you're in, uh, looks like uh, Sevierville. Uh, how do you get there? I'm coming from Chattanooga. Oh, you know, you take I-75, take a left, right, and you're there, basically. Um, okay, so if you can grab a pen for me, write down this information. Here's my name, here's my license number, and I will be there at two o'clock, but if I get stuck in traffic, get me up to three to get there. And I'll see you tomorrow at two, but it's at, like I said again, give me up to three in case something happens. Okay, take care, bye. So what, what did I just do there? That's pretty much the script that I use. The strategy, the psychology behind this is that I'm giving and engaging, I'm engaging with them a little bit longer. They're telling me how to get to their house. We of course don't need that. In most cases with GPS, we can get there automatically. So why do we ask? Well, because it helps them kind of visually engage with you of how to get to their house. That means they're gonna have a better chance of remembering because you've talked about, okay, so your house is on the corner of so-and-so, is there any landmark? What color is your house? I forgot to ask that, but I commonly ask that. Um, is it a trailer? Is it government housing? Is it an apartment complex? Tell me what kind of house is it, that kind of thing. Um, and then I also ask them to grab a pencil or a pen and write down my name, my, uh, the time that I'll be there, my license number. And again, not that I need to do all this, but putting what's in their head to paper, again, is another instance of where they'll probably more likely than not remember the occasion and thus be more likely to remember it. And then I just go ahead and confirm the appointment and get off the phone. This is the number one way to book more appointments that stay on the books. So I would do this if you're not already doing this. Um, uh, again, it will make a big difference if you just do that. And uh, the last thing I'll say, it's kind of sort of related in helping you is I always book with a window of time to get there. You notice the eight, to, I'll be there at eight, but get me up to nine in case I get stuck in traffic. That helps take some pressure off for you. It tells them too to expect, expect you to be late. Late, it's not really late if you're telling them eight to nine so that they won't think that you've bailed and then they'll go somewhere, okay? So I think that helps too. So uh, use these tips. They should make a big difference if you're not already. And you should start seeing more and more of your prospects actually show up. My name is David DeFord. Hope you enjoyed this training. If you'd like more of it, just subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below. And if you want to learn more about my agency and how it works, click the links above and below and you'll be taken to my website to learn more. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.